Here we have a 2005 Volkswagen Golf GT TDI in a sort of greeny grey. Three door hatchback with aftermarket black alloys. Starting with the offside front tyre, we're looking at a good four to five millimetres of tread there. As you can see, we've got these aftermarket black alloys. Um, there is a few scuff marks around the outside edge. Uh, not too bad condition. They are a matte finish as well, so they just look quite smart, but again, one or two light marks, no real sign of any curbing at all though, so good condition there. Looking at this offside front corner paddle, it definitely has been painted, um, so do be aware of that. It's also got some rust appearing above the arch there as well, so as you can see, a lot of bubbling starting to appear around the top of the arch there. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a look at the bodywork. There is one or two minor dinks, no signs of any dents at all. Looking at the mirror cap, um, you've got a few scuffs to the mirror. Again, they've been painted over, you can tell though. A couple of patches there. Look at your driver's door itself, uh, it does appear to be quite clean. One or two light scratches just require polish. Nothing that stands out for me. Um, as you can see, the bodywork there is slightly bit loose. Not quite in line. A little chip on the door edge there requires some touchings. And again, you can see one or two light dinks there on the driver's door. Sills in nice condition. Taking a look at the rear quarter of the vehicle. Again, one or two marks could do with a polish or some touchings required to the paintwork. Again, some scratches at the top of the arch there. Also to the rear bumper, it looks um, like it's been painted as well. Look at your rear tyre. You're looking at around two to three millimetres. Looking at your rear alloy, you can see you've got a bit of a curb there. One or two light little marks to the alloys as well but nothing too serious. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Looking at the back of the car here, one or two scratches to the tailgate just require polish. Again, they're very light so it shouldn't really be an issue. Again, uh, paintwork looks like it's been resprayed, as you can see on the rear bumper here. And again, just one or two light scuffs on the near side rear quarter. As you can see, a lot of corrosion there to the actual badge itself, so it could do with a new badge. And there's a little bit of moisture appearing there in the rear light. Taking a look inside the boot of the vehicle. Nice clean condition, you've got your parcel shelf there as well. As you can see, you've got your spare wheel and all your bits and bobs, that's spot on. Move around to the near side rear tyre. And look at your rear tyre, looking at around 2 to 3 millimetres again. Near side rear alloy, we've got a very heavy kerb to the one side there, as you can see. So do be aware of that, very heavy kerb to the alloy. So it could do a refurb, and again, some few light scuffs around the outside edge of the alloy to that alloy. Um, looking at the rear arch here, again, a lot of paint starting to bubble around the top of the arch, and it is slightly dented as well. There's a bit of a scuff to the paintwork, as you can see along here though. It's going to need some paint and it is slightly dented. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, uh, we have got quite a few dinks, especially in this sort of area here. Uh, it could just be the paintwork, but in this sort of patch here, there appears to be quite a few dinks to the bodywork. Again, some polish required, there's a couple of touchings, etc. Front passenger door does look okay, to be honest. Bit of a scuff there against the mirror, it's been painted over. And again, some big paint bubbles appearing here on the near side front arch, so be aware of that. Front tyre, looking at a good 4 to 5 mil, and we have got some scuffs to the near side front alloy. Again, nothing too serious, they are very low profile, but uh, not bad condition. Scuffs on the front corner, look like they appear to have been painted over. Some light scratches to the front there, some touchings required as there's a couple of stone chips, and to the bonnet as well, that's just age related. A little bit of lack of peel coming off the bumper there. But no signs of any damage at all to the front bumper. Just to quickly show you as well, um, the paint is starting to fade all on this offside front corner, all the way down at the side of the bonnet there, as you can see. So be aware of that. Take a look inside the vehicle. Full cloth interior, driver's door, slight bit of wear in there to the bolster. Again, that's just stage related. Bit dirty as well, but no signs of any damage. Looking at your rear seats, again, no signs of any damage there. It does appear to be pretty clean. So nice condition there in the back. 
and the front passenger seat isn't in bad condition at all either. No signs of any damage. Dashboard etc is relatively tidy. Steering wheel is not in too bad condition as well. Slight bit of wear in there around the door handle etc. Step inside the vehicle itself, we do have two sets of keys and just getting the car started up. As you can see the car starts perfectly fine, no problems at all there. Mileage wise we're looking at 90,072 miles, no symbols appearing on the dash that we need to be aware of. Like I said, not too bad condition to the wheel. You're looking at a radio and CD. No problems with the sound there. We've also got the econ light indicating there it's on and off. No problems at all with any of the blowers. Manual transmission. Taking a quick look at the documents. Copy of the V5. The car has had two owners. Has got an MOT certificate, which ends here March 26, 2015. So plenty left on the MOT for the vehicle. And we are looking at partial history. There's no service book. They are in receipts. Um, so if we just quickly go through these uh, receipts here. The first one is a um, receipt here. Um, as you can see, it's had all the maintenance work done on it. So Arnold Clark, Long Life Inspection Service at 18. Long Life Inspection Service there again at 34. So that appears to be it on there. We then have some... Um, service receipts here, as you can see, carry out full service. That was at 65271. Um, We've then got another carry out full service at 72135. And then the last service it had, which is not that uh, far away, 26th of the March 2014 at 85822. So not that long ago serviced, but as you can see, only some partial service history. There we have it, that's the 2005 Golf GT TDI manual, three-door hatch, and uh, for car stage, it's not in too bad condition.